So in this video, we are going to see the legal considerations which are very very important before we start our NMAP exploitation journey. So the official document of NMAP has an amazing write-up about the legal issues that are involved with port scanning which is available at this particular link. You can just go there and you can read about it. I'm not a lawyer but I will give you the brief overview of what can go wrong and where you should stop. What can be considered as legal or what can be considered as illegal while performing scans over networks which are exposed to the internet. So the things you should keep in mind while scanning different countries implies different rules. The safest way is to scan the networks you own or you have the explicit permissions to scan. So two questions which has the most importance is the first one is is port scanning legal? Yes, it is legal if and only if you are the owner of the network and the systems which you are going to start scanning. Also, you need explicit permissions for scanning the networks and systems which I have expressed already. So it can be considered illegal in case you do not have permission to scan the network. You are not the owner of the network. You degrade someone's ability of a network and system. Basically, you mass scan or you perform exploitation onto that particular network and due to some reason that particular network or the devices or the server goes under a DOS which is denial of service then this can be considered as illegal. So I would recommend that do not blindly start scanning anything that you want onto the internet. Apart from the bug bounty programs I would recommend not to scan any other websites or web servers which do not have a responsible vulnerability disclosure program or you may unknowingly break something into the network. I wish you all the best to start the journey and you can start doing NMAP on bug bounty programs. Thank you.